Hello, student. I am Tadar Pires from Kurma Degree College. In this session, we are learning about the diffraction gratings. It is the topic of the uh, fourth sem of Donnery University. Uh, it's come under the chapter diffraction and it is the session of uh, eight and it is the continuous uh, session let's we discuss about the we are study about the diffraction in the previous class diffraction is the phenomena in which when the light is uh, passing through and over an edge it bends around the edge even though shadow the light will be entered so that is called diffraction and we study in the previous uh, sessions that uh, light is passed through some slits single slits double slit circular aperture like this but light can also be a double slit and also multiple slits it also be passed through a multiple slits after multiple slits now oh, the making that arrangement for multiple slits that's called diffraction gratings by the way this is the diffraction grating picture this is the uh, we are familiar with the student grating because it's used in a laboratory that is most familiar with the students what is diffraction grating it's the grating in which the light energy is uh, constituted into its uh, wavelength separates its uh, wavelength so light is a polychromatic and it can pass through it and it uh, separates into its uh, constituents wavelength that is called diffraction grating in which you are seeing this one there is a see this one line there is something is right in this that is 15,000 lines per inch means there is the lines are there like this lines like this lines like this about one inch one inch means 2.454 centimeter within the one inch you see 15,000 lines are there so some this type of line slits the lines is nothing but slits slits are there that slit multiple slit is together we call it as a diffraction gratings so in this way we see this diffraction grating means it's not only 15,000 it may be uh, vary with the 8,000 10,000 12,000 as it is convenience we use that such of uh, slits are used so in this grating we can be increase its uh, spectral range or its uh, efficiency or its uh, performance of the diffraction grating its or its resolutions just by ground density uh, by drawing this the ground density depth and uh, diffraction grating and the diffraction grating so we are just in gross the grounds means the number of slits and your retail is to narrow agility was to retail either on the efficiency of the resolution server the other performance so we can get through this diffraction gratings by the way in this uh, diffraction grating we see the here is the types of the two types of the diffraction grating one is a uh, ruled grating and also the holographic grading ruled means they just engrow the rules line anna eliyondo slits anna eliyondo that is called ruled gratings and the holographic means computerized like this way lithographically it can be uh, printed on its glass plate that is holographic glass plates has come to ruled gratings so you can see this uh, uh, ruled grating means it's a ruling engine cuts the gross into its coating and the grating substance if you have grating substance so there is number of lines can be drawn as it is required 
so number of lines we drawn means slits will be drawn so narrow that it's a, their gap is equal to near to its uh, wavelength so that's why it's we can then only we will be able to draw a 12,000 lines in a inch 2.454 centimeter within that centimeter we drawn a uh, number of slits can be drawn here that is getting this is we are in grow ruled that's why it is called rule of the diffraction there is a some uh, difficulty is there that's the uh, periodic error will be <coughs> evolved hence it is uh, but uh, another type of the holographic diffraction grating can be uh, eliminate this periodic errors that's why uh, but this holographic diffraction grating is produced by the interference of lithographic which it result the smooth grow surface that's why it's called holographic uh, diffraction grating well lithographic is usual what term means uh, uh, it's a, in, a, in a see in this uh, picture in this picture it is a flat stone on which a picture can be drawn this is called lithographic so on this way we can draw if you take a glass and uh, there is a number of line can be drawn so that is lithographic in this way we used lithographic gratings in this way but you have only rule of diffraction grating which is say so another type of uh, uh, diffraction grating we saw that is the transmission depend upon the uh, transparency whether they are transparency or opaque that's why it is uh, on this types we can divide into two types that is transmission grating grating or reflection grating transmission usually which allows the light pass through it. Some part of the light is passed through it and some part of the light will be opaque. And another one is the reflection. It just reflects back. That's grating is the reflective grating. So see this is the in this picture. See the number of multiple slits will be seeing here. So each have equal length. One is uh, it is allowed is a very uh, through which it can be light can be passed through with this one but light is not passed through this one it stop here it can't be go further but it is stop here like this way it stop here light is stop here there is an opaque part but light can also be uh, there is a some part is there there is transparent it pass through like this way. so in this way the light is transmitted along with this one that is transmitting <laughs> transmission grating that is the some alternative sides are opaque such grating is trans transmission grating that is it allows the light passes through its way uh, in this uh, transmission grating there is a central part it is always central white this is called always central white it means you see the white light if passed through these slates you see the central white light will be seen directly at the center on the besides of on either side of this uh, central line you see the uh, different order of uh, colors uh, if it is near to central one that is called first order and uh, next to the second order next to third order like this way but intensity will be decreases as we see in the previous color diffraction in a single slit like this way you see the different there uh, intensity will be decreased and below this also the central white line there is also a first order second order like this way we will see that so on either side of the central white you see the first order second order third order but intensity is goes on decreasing you can observe these colors of this uh, um, rainbow seven colors here is the some concentrate color is there here but here is the color are shaded means decrease in their intensity it consists of as we say in uh, first uh, slide that is it can it may consist of uh, more than 12,000 uh, slits in a single uh, in one inch grating that is it can large number of grating also so on this uh, some opaques can stop the light and other transparent uh, part is uh, let it allow through it that is called 
transmission grading this is the frequently we use it this one about the grading seeing it this one <coughs> each what we drawn the number of slits that is gratings in a grading they are equidistance they have equal distance from each one so such a way that it is drawn in the and grow the lines on a glass plate so they are equidistance and also parallel lines on a glass surface we can be seen here from this uh, picture so these lines are uh, drawn from the very fine diamond point very narrow diamond point we can be done but you can't be done like uh, in your pencil like way so such a way that you cast in such a smallest width we draw a number of lines is very difficult that's why is very computerized it can be seen here so the space between any two lines is transparent that is called uh, very transparent portion and uh, another lined portion is opaque what the black line you see this is the lined portions but this is called opaque opaque means it does not allow current uh, so sorry it does not allow light opaque so if the lines are drawn on silvered surface then the light is reflected then the lines are now silvered idrali madidadre some parts will be stopped black lines are stopped but uh, reflective will become reflected portions such is the reflecting gratings as you call it is reflective then now glass plate nal madidre it passes through it but when you draw in on a uh, silver plate so it reflect back that is the reflection gratings so you can be done number of it may be around 10000 lines per centimeter can be drawn here not only 1 inch of 2.5% we 50 you can also be in 1 cm you can draw 10000 lines per second this is all about the diffraction gratings uh, in the next slides oh, we will be learn about the how the diffractions taking place in this way so in this way till from this uh, sessions we learn about the how diff what is diffraction grating how its types how they are made and what its types depend upon their uh, working and depend upon its uh, properties can be divided so how how much we can be slits can be drawn on this way so okay thank you thank you for all these things